Since we have the same birthday, July 30th. Thanks, Bob. See that one coming.
Hey guys, Brian here, and you gotta love Julian's smile on his face, man. We can all feel it. And for those who are wondering, you know, it's not really a fork, right? Because Bishop Back, why did Fabio resign? Well, he was low on time, obviously, but even Bishop Back, the problem is this pawn is gonna roll and Black will win. So, man, what a great win by Julian, man. I've known Julian since a long time ago, since the Los Angeles Chess Club, and back then I knew he was special. But this kind of special is on a whole different level. He'll remember this game for the rest of his life. Beautifully done, Julian. And hats off to Fabi too for giving him a chance at the second game because I think he saw in Julian, like he knew Julian was better than that first game, right? And he wanted to give Julian uh, an opportunity to show that. So very, very classy of Fabi to do that. And also definitely check out his, his Cool Chess podcast. I'll put the link in the video description. And Julian played a hell of a game here, hell of a game. And I just want to highlight some things here, right? So when Fabi played f5, he initially was going to move his bishop, but instead played this queen c5 move and brought the bishop to d5, which which uh, was so good because it explained why Fabi sacked his queen a little bit later here. So these are some pro moves by Julian here, ignoring kind of the threat, boom. And if the queen goes anywhere, then what's the problem? Yes, bishop takes g2 checkmate, the queen controlling that square. So you see how that move kind of uh, led to this. So going back here, in case anybody you're wondering what the computer move was, it was actually f6. So go ahead, take it. At least I'll get like, a, you know, potential uh, queening one square away and bishop e6 and black is winning by negative 4.8.
But I want to go here in this position. I think this was uh, Fabi's biggest chance in the game. Computer has him winning at 3.5. And in the game, we had Queen G4. Let's go move back. Went from 3.5 to negative 1.2. What will be another move for white here? Yes, maybe Queen E1, X ray the king, but also uh, prepare this. Castle Queen side. This could be one continuation. And. Um, Boom, boom, boom. White is winning at 3.7. So maybe the, the queen out to attack the pawn was a bit, um, you know, a, a bit too aggressive because it opened up files to the uh, to the king here on the G file. But I want to go here in this position. And Fabi had a chance to get back in it in the game. Bishop D3 was played, which allowed this nice threat here. Mate and pick up the rook. Let's go back. Will be another move for white here. Yes, rook e1, and, and black is a little bit better at negative 1.5, but this is, just goes to show you how good Julian is at seeing what change in the position. Boom, now you're free to uh, have this tactic and to win it. So a lot of subtle things you see in Julian's play that shows you he is a high caliber player, and I have no doubt he's like 30 points away from master. Of course he'll reach master. I am GM. Oh, he's perfectly capable. It's just a matter of if he wants it. And he's at the perfect age to do it as well. So beautifully done, Julian. Man, we're so proud of you. That is a win you will never forget. And way to rep the crew. And very, very classy of Fabi to kind of give that um, second game to Julian. And it was nice to see him take the picture at the end too. Wow, that that is uh, that's awesome, man, right there. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. The bell notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.